Hello, my name is Graham Stanley Flowers and in this video I am going to explain about how the gyro wind turbine works. In 1997 a friend made the suggestion that I needed to get a wind turbine as every time he visited my workshop it was windy. I could have saved some money on the electricity bill. His name was Mr. Alan Parks, the buyer for William Bolton Engineering Company. I looked at what was on the market and decided to build my own. Using my engineering experience, I developed the wind turbine using trial and error to improve the design. The two most important things were the corrugated blades and the outer ring to drive the generator. The corrugated blades to give a large wind contact surface area but to keep the diameter down and the drive ring to drive the generator at the right RPMs for the voltage output as most generators required 3000 RPM for their maximum output. Seeing that I was only working on the turbine in my spare time and still using trial and error, the turbine progressed slower than I would have liked. The first generator I used was an old petrol driven generator that I cannibalised for the generator itself. It had two output 110 total 220 volts 30 amps 3000 rpm generator that I had to modify for, to suit my purposes. After many changes to the turbine and the generator like changing the outer ring from square hollow section to three quarters square solid bar, adding a flywheel to the generator and using a solid rubber friction drive on the generator, I had a working turbine. This is how the gyro wind turbine works in a 15 mile an hour wind. The wind makes contact with the corrugated blades with a contact surface area equal to a 13 foot diameter turbine, but has a physical diameter of only nine foot six. A 9 foot 6 or 2.9 meter turbine expected output in a 15 mile an hour wind would be only 425 watts. My turbine 13 foot or 3.962 meters expected output in 15 mile an hour wind would be 794.989 watts. According to Better Limit, a perfect wind turbine can only extract 0.5926 percent of the wind's energy. So a perfect 9 foot 6 wind turbine in a 15 mile an hour wind would only be able to extract a maximum of 721.164 watts of energy. A 9 foot 6 turbine using the right size corrugations can be converted to a 19 foot turbine and in a 15 mile an hour wind would have an output of 1698.411 watts and still have the physical size of a 9 foot 6 turbine. The flywheel generator drive ring rotates using the turbine blades and has a mass of 101 kilograms. In a 15 mile an hour wind it rotates at 88 rpm. The ring moves at 30 miles per hour and has a kinetic energy of 9026 watts that drives the generator at 3080 rpm. Thank you for watching. Regards, Graham S. Flowers.